Hi, I'm Jim Cattrall from Mayertron, and today we're going to be talking about NMEA 2000 networks and what goes into making those networks. So the first thing is, what is a network and why do I need a network? An NMEA 2000 network is, you can think of it like a highway, a highway of data. Okay, it's a network where you connect multiple different sensors onto the same network so that they can be viewed easily on an NMEA 2000 display. Some of those different types of data are GPS, wind, tank monitoring, or engine monitoring. Once you've got all of that data together onto the, onto the NMEA 2000 backbone, you can then view them via an NMEA 2000 display. So what are the different pieces that go into making a NEMA 2000 network? Well, the first thing is you need to inject power. So this is where we use a power T. So Mertron's power T, it comes with a cable. It has two female connectors on either side. The reason for this is so that we don't leave bare um, connectors if this is permanently powered and you could potentially short those out. We also power each side of the network separately. And so that is so that you can have a, um, a permanently powered side of your network and then a switch side of your network. And that can come in handy when you're trying to monitor things when you, when you don't need all of your displays on. The second thing that you need is a T-piece. A T-piece is how you break your backbone and you connect a device to the drop cable, okay? So that's how you insert and connect a device. We then have terminators, and terminators go to each end of the network. These terminators come in three different types. We come in a female type, a male type, and then we have what's called an inline terminator. So on, an, on a Mertron um, network, we would use male connectors at both ends. And the reason for that is because the power T is female on both sides. So that's something to watch out for. Then we have a 90 degree connector, and this is ideal for when you're trying to connect a display and you have a minimum amount of room behind the display in which to allow for the, uh, for the maximum, or for, sorry, for the minimum bend radius required for the cables. We also have a bulkhead fitting, and this is great when you want to go through a panel, when you want to go through a bulkhead, and you don't want to cut the connectors. If you do need to cut your NMEA 2000 cables, and you can, we would recommend using the field installable connectors. We have both male and female. You decide which one is the one that you need, and you would need a male if you're going to go into the bottom of your uh, T-piece. Once you've cut your cable, insert the cable through the cable gland, connect it to the color-coded plug, um, but please remember when connecting the shield cable, which is a bare cable, to insulate that shield cable so that it doesn't short out on any of the other pins inside, creating a network error. The other thing that we have is a multi-port connector, and this is where you want to connect multiple devices to one T-piece. Then we have network cables. So these are pre-made cables, and you can get these in, in different lengths from half meter to 10 meters long. And these cables can be used for either backbone or for drop cable. A backbone on micro cables, which is the most common type of network, you can have up to 100 meters, or a drop cable you can have to a maximum of six meters. Then we look at the devices that you want to connect. So in this instance, we have a GPS antenna. So each NMEA 2000 device has what we call a LEN value. A LEN value is the current is the is the measurement of current uh, that this device draws on an on a NEMA 2000 network, and one LEN is equal to 50 milliamps. So with this GPS antenna, this is a two LEN value device. So this is going to draw 100 milliamps on your network. Then we have a weather station, which is Mertron's ultrasonic wind um, sensor. This has a value of one LEN, so 50 milliamps. 
Then we have an NMEA 2000 display. So this is Mertron's DSM 570. And on this, you can, you can display multiple types of data. You can create custom alerts. This has a LEN value of nine. Okay, so why am I telling you about the LEN value? The LEN value is, is important when you are creating a NEMA 2000 network because you want to try and balance out the values of each device based on your NMEA 2000 network. You want to try and have as many, uh, the same amount of LEN value on, on the left side as you do on the right side. So those are all the bits and pieces that go into making a NEMA 2000 network. I hope you find that helpful. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos.